Welcome to the very first edition of Monday Stuff on the Your Movie Friend YouTube channel, and this will be news, previews, and reviews for the coming week, in this case the last week of January 2013, and obviously I am on location. As you can see, palm trees uh, in the background in Florida. I, there are no palm trees in Missouri where I live, but I wanted to do this uh, maybe at the beginning of every week just to kind of give an idea of maybe some news, uh, both for the channel and also in pop culture, because sometimes I want to comment on stuff and I don't have an avenue to do that. There's a big piece of news this week that I wanted to uh, to chat a little bit about. It involves, I don't know, the uh, galaxy far, far away. I don't something like that. Uh, and then also uh, an opportunity to let you know what's coming ahead in the week and give you an opportunity. This would be a good place for like feedback, if I get some good feedback, some good comments. Uh, on the videos, different things like that, that I can uh, talk about those here as well. I'll start off with the uh, the channel news here at uh, Your Movie Friend YouTube channel, and uh, really, this is it. Starting to do these is the big channel news for this week. Although, you know, I should mention the Geek Geekvolution contest that's still going on. Uh, if you want to vote on that, I'm in this Who Reviews the Reviewers contest, which is really fun and I'm really enjoying it. It's actually been really helpful with my movie reviews and a lot of the stuff that I'm doing. So uh, glad to send you their way and, and have you catch up on that. And if you want to vote for me, I guess I'll put that in the, uh, the link here in the, um, I guess, the description. That's where you can put links on these things, I think, on uh, how to vote for me at the Who Reviews, the reviewers. And it's really easy. And I would encourage you, go check out all the reviews, vote for your favorite, and really get involved because they really do a good contest over there. Uh, and I'm excited about being a part. And it is a big week. It's an important week. So if you do like mine the best, please vote. That would be great. Appreciate it. Uh, as far as uh, news in the real world, there were a couple things I wanted to mention. Not so much news, but The Office made an interesting turn this week. If you're still uh, watching The Office, uh, you were in for something really, really interesting. And I want to talk a little bit about it because I love it. I think it's genius. This show was given up for dead this season, as it should have been. It had just died off creatively. And then early on in the season, they started getting like the cameramen more involved. Like you'd see, like they'd break the, the fourth wall and you'd see the people who were shooting, the, you know, the boom mics, those kind of things. And now I get why in this last episode, they very quickly set up this thing between Pam and a boom mic operator because of Jim being off at his job. And I was thinking, you know, the Jim Pam thing has been this beautiful relationship and it's time to go to that next level. It's really interesting how they're doing this. And I thought, but who in the office are you going to believe that Pam's going to fall for? There's nobody there. It's just a genius way to do it. Because now it's somebody we know has been there the whole time. We can believe that things have been happening behind the scenes that we didn't know about. It's a new character, and at the same time, it feels like a character who's been there forever because they have just behind the scenes and we've never seen them on camera. I just think it's a genius turn to do it that way. And my arm is getting tired. It's a tired arm. Okay. All right. And back up. The other thing I wanted to mention was the Fringe finale, which happened recently. And I got to tell you, I was really impressed that they let this show finish the way that they did. Um, Fringe has been a great show. Love J.J. Abrams. Love what he's done with this show. And I love how expansive that universe became and how in-depth they went with this sci-fi stuff. Uh, if X-Files is the example of how to take a sci-fi show and destroy it by the ending, I think Fringe may be an example of how to bring a sci-fi show together to have a satisfying ending. I really enjoyed it, and if you gave up on Fringe, I would highly recommend, maybe on Netflix over the next coming years, to go back and finish that journey because I really, really enjoyed both the emotional arc of what happened as well as um, just the creative way that they did that. And of course, finally, J.J. Abrams officially announced as the director of Star Wars, and I gotta say, Bravo. I mean, it was the first name that came to mind, right? When they announced they were redoing the Star Wars and George Lucas was giving it up and somebody new and fresh was coming in. Didn't you think J.J. Abrams? Is that just me? I That was immediately my first choice, and when I heard him say that he wasn't going to do it, I was very disappointed, and then to hear that now he is, it's just going to be phenomenal. To think of the guy that has taken Mission Impossible and Star Trek and made them relevant again and put stuff on TV like Fringe that we just talked about, or Lost, or Alias, which is an incredible show, and now he's got Darth and Luke and their universe. It's just, uh, it, it's almost to the point where you just want to just quit thinking about it, because the expectation is going to get so high, and I'm not sure he can live up to that. But if anybody can, JJ can. He's blown my mind over and over again, so I think he can do that. 
Wait, why am I looking over? In the camera over here? I'm sorry, I haven't, I've been looking off to your right. Has that been annoying? I'll look at you now, I promise. Reviews coming later this week include The Last Stand, Mama, and Broken City, and also a relook at the TV show Elementary, which I made a really quick snap decision on, and I may have regretted it. That, I think, will be Thursday. I'll post that video and take a look at that. I really appreciate you checking out your movie, friend. Hey, let me know in the comments on this video or anywhere you can get in touch with me, which email, whatever, you can find me. Uh, I would love to know what you think of this new format, what you think of the channel in general. How can I make this better as I attempt to kind of explore pop culture with you a little bit in this regard? Just broke 200 subscribers, and I'm thankful for each and every one, but I know we can build a pretty cool community here uh, as we continue to talk about this stuff. Thanks for watching, and uh, man, um, my arm is killing me. It's just that you don't look as good from below, you know, like just get the chin fat from below. Like up here, so you just stretch out your neck, makes you look better. I don't want the chin fat from below.